All right, this is class exercise number three. I don't know how many parts it's been, but this is probably part seven or eight, and I, I lost track with it. But um, I'm picking up on the uh, quotations and sightings and, uh, of, of the th third document um, I talked about, just picking up where we left out. We just finished the address for this right now. So let's talk about HTML citing <clears throat> when you actually cite a particular or the source where it comes from with it. So let me just start with something very simple as a paragraph tag. And inside the paragraph tag, uh, I'm going to say the the HTML site elements defines um, the title of a work, for example. Let's close off that P tag. Okay. So we need to actually um, to display. You know, the browser usually display what's called site in italic, kind of italicized with, with it as well. So let's give this another p tag. And we're going to go in here and say browsers usually display site elements in italic. Let's close off that, like that. Okay. So it's kind of like an italicized with it as well with it. So how do we cite something, for example? Now here's what I'm going to do. Inside of this document, I also gave you what's called, I'm going to post up here in the exercise, there's an image of, uh, of, of, of the screaming, of one of the screaming of Edward Munch with it. So but we're going to add that image in here as well with it. All right. So hang on. Let me pause it for a second. So um, just to continue on where we left off, I uh, for the citation of uh, this is where we left off is this right here, um, and uh, let me show you where we're, we kind of started, and um, uh, I kind of gave you both of the uh, kind of bump. This is where we kind of left off with it, and in here, here's what I have, if you could go to your uh, class exercise number three and your in your um, uh, eCampus, and if you can go in and find the class exercise link right here, and, and, and find class exercise number three, styles, formatting, quotation, I gave you uh, an image that you need to download. So depending on what browser you do, you need to download this image to use for this particular citing of the citation with it. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna. I have downloaded this. This is a JPEG. You can click on it, it downloads whether you want it. That's what it looks like with it. You can right mouse click on it, save image as. And I put this inside of my directory already. Inside of, this is where it looks, this is what it looks like. Let me show you where it looks like uh, right now with it. Um, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to put it right here, right now, next to the file. It's called quotation with it. All right. So I'm going to do it right now with you. So those of you that have, haven't done it, uh, I can right mouse click, right mouse save image as, and you navigate to that particular drive that I, that I just showed you. All right. So I, I have it on a particular drive. It's in here, it's on my particular directory. Um, this is the folder. So um, image of the screen. Okay. So save that and let me show you what that looks like. So it should look like this. This is the quotation, <coughs> same directory as your image underscore that's uh, underscore this, uh, the screen as well. Make sure both of these are in the same directory or else you won't be able to do this. So let me minimize that. This is where I got the image. So um, coming back to here, this is where I would like for you to do is coming back to here. And here we are in the browser with it. Um, so let me just move this browser to the right. It looks like this right now. All right. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to do a citation based off of that image that we just saw. All right. Um, and 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 again, the image is is an image, so it has to be a IMG as an image tag, correct? And the source SRC 
Remember this for the image? What we're going? What's the name of that image? Does it remember? IMG underscore the underscore screen, right? Dot JPEG is the name of the file. We close off that source with it. I happen to know what the width of that is. If you don't, here's what how I could find show you to find out. If you click on it and you right mouse click on it and come down to properties. Properties will tell you the dimensions in detail of what the size and how much this weighs and everything with it and with it with it and it's as well. But what's more important is you see what this dimension is 220 by 27 or 277 is the width and the height. All right, so the width of this thing is 220 pixel. The height is 277 pixel. This is this is what they tell you right here. <clears throat> That's where I'm getting these numbers. All right, so I'm going to go to the source code. Why is that important? That I have the width and the height. It just helps it load a lot readily faster if I put the width and the height of the pixel and the size of it in here, and containing that dimension in there. So the width and the height is 277, closing off that. And of course, I always want to have an alt text to this. So I'm going to do the screen um, is the name of the picture with it. Close off that tag. And I'm going to do P for the paragraph tag. Close that off. And then I'm going to do open up my site tag and then I'm going to do the site tag is the uh, the screen close off that close that off by I think it was by Edward Edward with the D Edward Munch all right and painted by in I think in 1893 and I'm going to close that paragraph tag at the same time all right so it looks like that so what does this look like I control s I save it come over here refresh it and you notice <clears throat> it, it couldn't pull my 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 page in okay my my image in see what's going on here so this is the image with it um, Here's my text for that. This is my alt text for this, but where's my image? Hmm, what have I done? So I want to make sure I got the right um, syntax with it as well. SRC equal, I want to make sure I got the right name here. This is a JPEG. Let's check, let's check. Um, ah, misspell a letter here. Scream, S C R E. E A, see that? So I misspell the name. All right. So I'm just gonna copy that name of that file. You see how I did is E E here. This is, there's a misspelling of a A. My bad. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna copy that title right here with it. Control S saves this. Come on over here, refresh this. Voila, here it is with it. So the scream. Okay. When this thing is here's the name of the scream. It's cited. You see, it's italicized, and it's by this person, painted by this date with it as well. So this is a way how you can actually put in an image with this at the same time. Okay. Now I want to tell you. Uh, let me make a note right here. All right. Go to eCampus. Find your directory. It's called Class Exercise Number Three and download download the screen um, image okay remember to do that cool okay so that's all of that is how you cite a particular source in this let me copy this paste this down here at the bottom now we come down here. Um, there are another thing I need to talk to you about is what's called bidirectional override. I know that a lot of times when when we are coding, uh, we do a lot of things are reading from left to right. Most likely, it's in English with it, but not every language has reading from left to right. So you can have things read 
other direction to as well. It's called bidirectional override, meaning you read from right to left, right? So that's another way you can do this. I just need to show you how it does exist with it. So bidirectional uh, override it works like this. So let me do a paragraph tag for you. And I'm going to close off that paragraph tag before I always like to close my tag off before I, I start writing it or else I'll forget with it. But if your browser supports what's called bi directional override, which is B in parentheses, BDO with it, the new, the next text line will be written from right to left. Okay, so I'll just say RTL is the right to left abbreviation for that. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to say Control S. I'm going to save this. Come down here, refresh this. And this is what this looks like. I just typed this up with as well. Now let's try this. I'm going to do the te the element as BDO. Bidirectional, all right. Um, override with it. I'm going to do dir equal. And I'm going to do in the quote. I'm going to do rtl, rtl with it. And I'm going to close that quote off with it, and close that tag off. It looks like that, all right. So I'm going to say this line will be written. From right to left. Uh, e D O. Let's see what this thing looks like. Okay, so Control S reverses it with it. I'm going to come over here, refresh this. So if you see, see this is kind of like a flip. This line will be written from right to left with it. Okay, so I know it just doesn't so one of those things that it lets you know that you can write things backward in there, but I just know it exists with it as well. All right. Last thing I need to talk to you about are comments in here and I'm gonna wrap it up for this particular exercise with it. So um, <clears throat> you and I know how to comment with us, right, right? So a couple of ways you, you, you have been knowing how to comment. How? One, one reason we comment is it's for documentation. Two reasons I need for you to know. Two reasons to document. One is to really you know, document your code with trivial with um, information, I would say trivial, but information such as uh, date and, and who did the code. All right. Two is we use documentation is to, and you don't see this yet, to debug. All right. Debug a code. So there are times that we don't delete code, we just kind of like mass it out so we don't see it, all right? <clears throat> I want you to know those two ways that you can, that's why we document and all that stuff with it as well, all right? Make sure you know that exists with it. Um, so if, if, for example, you know, this particular image I have on here, I can actually go in and comment it out and it will just hide it. But the image and the source is still there. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm gonna end this right now. This is it for class exercise number three. What you need to do is have three of these documents and then you link it from your index page to this page to one of these three pages and have a link back to it as well, like you did on the classic size number two. You got it?